Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the experiment 46.3, the preparation of soap. So first of all, we will have a beaker, and to that we will add the stir bar into the beaker. And we will put the beaker on top of a magnetic stirrer plus the heating stove. Now, to the beaker, we are going to measure 30 cm cube of 3m sodium hydroxide using a measuring cylinder. Transfer the sodium hydroxide into the beaker. To that, we are going to transfer 3 ml of castor oil into the sodium hydroxide using a syringe. After adding the oil and sodium hydroxide into the beaker, you should be able to see two invisible layers of liquid. The upper layer is obviously the oil and the lower layer is obviously the sodium hydroxide. Now, we are going to switch on the stirrer as well as the heating stove. Now after heating for 15 minutes, you should be able to see the formation of lather and foam. And you should also check to see if there are still two layers of liquid. If there are no two layers of liquid, then you can actually stop the heating. Now I will stop the heating by turning off the heater. And now I'm going to measure 30 cm cube of saturated sodium chloride solution. using a wet towel to hold the beaker and remove it from the hot plate. Now, this is how the appearances of the product looks like. The soap is the white solid that is floating on the surface while the liquid at the bottom is the saturated sodium chloride solution. Now, we are going to carry out a filtration to separate the white soap from the mixture.
use small amount of distilled water to rinse the surface of the white solid. Now, transfer the solid onto a filter paper. Dry the soap by pressing against the filter paper. Now, we are going to perform two simple test tube experiments to show the wetting property and the emulsifying property and most importantly, the cleaning property of the soap. So first of all, I'm going to add to two test tubes, each half test tube measure of distilled water. To one of the test tubes, I'm going to add three spatulas of the soap that we have just prepared. Stopper the two test tubes. Shake the two test tubes. As you can see, the one with my left, your right, which is the distilled water, it has no foam. However, the one on my right, your left, the one which the soap has been added, it shows a lot of foam. Now we want to do another experiment to show the cleaning property of the soap. Again, we are going to half fill the two test tubes with distilled water. To that, we are going to add a few drops of chili oil. The chili oil represents the oil stain, and we want to see if the soap is able to erase it. Now, to one of the test tubes, we will add three spatulas of the soap. Stopper the two test tubes. Now shake the two test tubes. Now as you can see from my left, your right, that is the one with water and the chili oil. Now you can see the water and the chili oil are separated into two immiscible layers of liquids. Now on my right hand side, your left hand side, that is the one with the soap added into it. Now you can see that there are only one layer of liquid. So this enables easy washing of the oily dirt. As we can simply pour away the water, then we are able to erase or clean all the oily dirt. So this result shows the cleaning property of soap. So this concludes the experiment, and that's the end of the video.